What is good, everybody? Welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today, we're back with a brand new AEW Unrivaled action figure review with the ringside exclusive AEW Unrivaled Collection TNT Champion Sammy Guevara figure. Now, this figure's looking pretty good. You know, we've seen these TNT-style championships before. We did see this in the purple and silver TNT Champion Cody ringside exclusive way back in the day. And now we're back with another one. I mean, the box is very similar shape. You have Champion on there, the AEW logo. He comes with two TNT titles. He's looking pretty damn good right here, man. You guys can see the front view window here. Very nice box. You guys know the AEW and Jazzwares does a really good job on their packaging here, but there is a front viewing window of the figure. So you guys can just see here, the figure looks really good with both championships up front. AEW logo up here, the figure in the middle, Unrivaled Collection. You got Champion down here, Sammy Guevara. It's got a nice reflective box on it. At the top, it does have another AEW logo. And on the back, you do see Beach Break here, and it's got the nice little Titan Tron thing. You guys can see the reflective material. And then on this side of it, it shows Sammy Guevara, which I re it's really hard to see because of the angle of my camera and like the background. But you guys can see him here and then on the other side of the box you guys can see they stored the accessories along here i would put it directly in front of the camera but you wouldn't be able to see it because i'm a dumb idiot nonetheless man if you already like what you see and you'd like to grab this figure over at ringside collectibles it is ringside collectibles exclusive so there's no other place you can grab this figure go over there guys use code md toys to save yourselves 10 percent of course lots of AEW figures up for order there lots of wwe action figures just tons of wrestling action figure content weapons accessories rings all kinds of ish you can buy over there man so definitely check that stuff out and use code md toys to save yourselves 10%. But with that being said, man, let's crack Sammy Guevara out of the packaging, find out what he's all about, put him on the rotating base, and dive into this ringside exclusive TNT champion, Sammy Guevara. All right, man, so here's Sammy G out of the packaging. I'm going to be real with you. This piece of shish would not stand on the damn rotating base. I was about to have a conniption. He's knocking all my shish over. I mean, we're about to have we're about to have a damn fist fight right here in the review station, Bradley. Come around here like that again, going about my guy all wrong. Do it again, I'll stab you in the face with a sighing iron. Only real ones are going to get that reference. Nonetheless, man, you guys know how these things work, you know? We're going to dive into it, of course, dive into the accessories of the Sammy G, get into the Sammy G figure itself. We do have a brand new championship here. We have some good stuff going on with this figure, of course. And honestly, this figure is kind of MDT themed or Judgment Day themed, kind of, and we're going to get into all those things, but let's shut the hell up, dive into the accessories you get with Sammy G, and then we'll run it back and take a closer look at Guevara himself. All right, guys, so diving into the accessories you get with Sammy Guevara, you do get two championships, you get an entrance vest, you get three interchangeable heads. I mean, very Supreme Edition, like, not quite that, you know, you don't get extra gear or interchangeable arms or something like that, but you get a fair amount of accessories here with this Sammy Guevara TNT champion figure. Now, you guys know that I like to start off with head sculpts, and this is the head sculpt we We've seen previously on his other two figures. It is the tongue out head sculpt. Very, very good likeness here. And the fade looks good. The haircut looks good. It looks just like Sammy Guevara. And we've seen this head sculpt before, but it looks really good here. I have no complaints about this whatsoever. Next up, we have the smiling head sculpt. And I think this also looks a lot like Sammy Guevara. Again, the fade or the haircut looks really, really good. The smile looks good. I want to say this is a new head sculpt. It might be from, we may have seen this in that Unmatched Series 5, like jail suit, you know, figure or whatever the hell you want to say. But I think this is pretty good. I mean, it looks just like the man so what do you what can you say and this one's a little bit weird but i do like the uniqueness of it we have the kissing face or the duck face or whatever you want to call it here he has his eyes closed it's a really good eyes closed head sculpt again man the haircut looks good the the facial expression looks good the likeness is there and i think this actually looks better than the images we saw previously of this this looks a whole lot better you can even see the eyelashes in there which is really crazy this is a damn good head sculpt man very very nice right here i actually like this a lot it's expressive you know you get a, a lot of unique stuff out of this you can do a a really cool like creative opportunities with your feds and all kinds of stuff with head sculpts like this so that is pretty cool and you know you can of course pose it with your take conti figure now outside of that we do have the tnt championship this is the black red and gold version i do believe this is an updated version of our previous tnt championship it does look a little bit different to me like the diamond plated background right here but this is just another tnt championship which we've seen and I, again i don't remember if this is the exact mold i want to say this is a newer mold or that it's changed just slightly but we also have the gold Gold version right here and I do believe this was Miro's version the white strap with the gold and the green look really clean on here man this is a great looking title that this is probably my favorite iteration of the championship I also know that we had that gold version right like the golden purple edition I think or maybe this wasn't Miro's version but I could have swore it was but the white strap is very clean the TNT looks good you have a like sa like see how this main plate looks I'm pretty sure that's what this looked like on the black strap previously and now you guys can see it has this textured pattern it's changed just slightly so I don't know you guys can let me 
let me know, but uh, both championships look really good. Even though they may be a little bit oversized, I am glad to have these championships. Now, we also have his entrance vest right here. And you guys can see it's got Inner Circle Original. It's got, you know, the finger there. I'm pretty sure it's supposed to be a middle finger, if I'm not mistaken. Spanish God over here in this nice, like, classic heavy rock metal style font there. I'm trying to think of the damn font. It's bothering me that I can't think of it. But you have Inner Circle right there. And then you do have the Statue of Liberty, the headband. Best ever right there. Very, very cool right there. Very sweet, man. This is awesome. I, I like the feel of this, and it fits on there really, really nicely. So, got good texture to it and everything like that. I, I really like this entrance vest that we got with Sammy Guevara. And then he also includes this silver necklace, which we've seen a few necklaces now. We've seen it with Darby Allen. We saw it with the Supreme Kenny Omega. So, getting another necklace in here. Really cool to see these. You know, they feel good. They fit on the figure well as well. Uh, I had to flip mine around a little bit to get it to fit snug instead of, like, flailing around. So, you may have to play around with that. But, it's still a nice accessory. It's got a good sculpt to it. And the silver color is nice. So, always appreciate these kind of little accessories that kind of bring the figure to life, if you will. Now, outside of the mic holding slash grabby, you know, grappling style hands he comes with, he also comes with a pair of fists to punch people in the mouth. And he also comes with these Kenny Omega style hands. Now, this is the this is exactly the Kenny Omega mold, like the off-putting, like, finger bang style hand. This is that, you know, that style hand right here, or the off hand for the Kenny Omega. But you get two of those to do, like, an entrance or, like, the arms wide open or whatever. And they are in the Sammy Guevara skin tone. All right, so diving into Sammy Guevara's figure itself. Oh, my God, I thought he was falling down. He is not, though. This sculpt looks really good on here. Skin tone is all nice. You know, he's kind of got a paler skin tone, even though I think he has done a spray tan a time or two. He's looking pretty good here. Now, I will say, I don't think the figure's necessarily stained, but he does have some marks here on the chest from the vest, and I don't know. It's like he's got a nipple right here, man. Like, what's going on with that? I tried to get it off. You know, I tried to rub on it and try to get that off there. I could not get that off of there, but the figure still looks good nonetheless. It does have the black wrist tape. I mean, of course, this is annoying. I'm going to have to get that off with a dry eraser, probably, or a, a Mr. Clean, whatever the hell it's called. Mr. Clean eraser, or whatever the hell, like, white eraser pad. I bet that'll probably scrape it off, maybe, but black wrist tape in here. Very nice panda triangle tights here with the zebra print. He's got the black and the white and the zebra stripes in here. Sammy Guevara. Very MDT-esque here. Very Judgment Day-esque. I know it kind of reminds me of, like, Finn Balor's, like, is it, like, Panama something? I don't remember what the hell the name of the brand is, but it's, like, Pam Panama something. They have that, like, purple and black zebra print, and Finn Balor and Judgment Day wear it all the time, but going down, you have its legs, and then you do have the zebra print on the knee pads, which looks really, really clean. If only this were pink and not purple, I mean, he'd be killing it here with all this zebra print. You guys know I love zebra print and the, the vibes. I mean, the accent wall, but here's coming slowly together. I mean, it's looking damn good. I can't wait to finish that. I need to get that. I just gotta find some time here, but zebra print looking good on the kick pads. Looks really, really nice. Love that. You get the lower shin cut in there, and the feet look good. I love the, the unique mold that they give him, because this really does look like his kick pads. So, you got the white faces on there, the black stripes. This figure is very poseable, man. I mean, you get the double jointed knee, you get the shin cut in there. You know, the ankles move up and down. He's got good ankle pivot. You know, he can flip and nip and do all the different stuff you want. You know, he doesn't have butterfly joints, but I still like the way the figure feels and everything. Double jointed arms in there. I will say the wrist pegs get a little bit loose on these grappling hands, but he also has the neck, you know, the ball hinge right here, which is very cool. So, I mean, dude, he's got, you know, he can do all the different poses you need from a Sammy Guevara. I don't think you're going to be worried about, you know, what poses he can and can't do because he can pretty much do all of them, but I do want to get into some uh, Sammy Guevara figure comparisons. Now, for your Sammy Guevara figure comparisons, we do have the Unrivaled Series 4 on the left. I think it's Unrivaled Series 4, if I'm not mistaken. You have the ringside exclusive TNT Champion in the middle, and then you have the Target exclusive Sammy Guevara on the right. And all three of them are nice. You know, I like to get different variations of characters. I like to see different guys in different skin tones and stuff of that nature. And I will say, the tongue out head sculpt that we're getting on this TNT Champion Sammy Guevara looks a lot better, I think, than the previous versions. They just, they look, it looks more authentic. I think it looks cleaner and more like Sammy Guevara, so that's definitely something to note. But which attire do you prefer the most? I can say without a doubt, I do like the middle attire the most. And if I had to rank them, I would go one, two, three. And that is in the order of kind of which they were released. So, uh, you know, from uh, most recent to the oldest. Nonetheless, you know, they're, they're fun to collect different guys and stuff like that. Will we see a Supremo hit one day? Who knows? But I could see us getting a Sammy Guevara WWE Elite one day for sure. I could see him jumping ship one day. And then for your other Sammy Guevara figure comparison, here is Tay Conti or Tay Mello, whatever you want to say. And they scale pretty well together. I think they look good together. So you have that, you know. You know, they're going to be posed together and stuff like that. I do believe they've welcomed their first child, or they're about to welcome their first child into the world, if I'm not mistaken. But pretty cool to see these up next to each other, you know. You can do the setups and pose them around together and all those things. But that is pretty much going to wrap up the figure itself for the Sammy Guevara TNT Champion ringside exclusive figure. But I think that pretty much wraps up our Sammy Guevara TNT Champion ringside exclusive action figure review, man. I like the figure overall. You know, it feels good in hand quality. But, I mean, we're pretty much looking at a cool repaint of a previous Sammy Guevara. You do get a couple nice-looking head sculpts. I like the smiling head 
scope. We've already seen the tongue out head sculpt before. I like the vest. I do have the stainage on the chesticle. You know, it looks like he's got a nipple over here like we talked about. He's got the zebra print gear, which I really like, right? You know, you guys know I love zebra print. Fits right in there with the channel and the theme. It is purple and black, which gives me those, you know, that Finn Balor jacket or whatever the hell that's called, the Judgment Day jacket vibes. It could totally see people putting him in the Judgment Day in a fit or something like that, which would be cool. But, you know, this figure isn't my cup of tea per se, but it is a cool figure. And if you guys want to add that TNT championship to your collection and you want to update your Sammy Guevara's, I really like the Target exclusive. I like the first Sammy Guevara, but if you want that update in gear, which I do like this gear the most out of all the Sammy Guevara figures, I still don't know if there's enough meat on the bone to go after this one. However, if you guys would like to, of course, go over to Ringside Collectibles, use code MD Toys to save yourselves 10%. But at the end of the day, it is a cool figure. It poses well. It's got some cool accessories. There's, there's things to like about the figure, but I don't think it's necessarily must have in your collection. And I think that's going to vary person to person, of course. So you guys will have to be the judges of that and make your own decisions. But that is pretty much going to wrap up our Sammy Guevara ringside exclusive TNT champion review. Overall thoughts on it are that it's a serviceable football figure, man. I mean, I, you know, it gets all the things done. It's a repaint of a previous figure, which is usually what these things are. You know, they do throw in the championship for you and stuff like that. But at the end of the day, those are my final thoughts on this figure, man. A huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys for their continued support. They do get some, you know, some bonus stuff and some things going on on the channel, which is really appreciated. I appreciate all of them so very much for their continued support on the channel. If you guys are interested in something like that, click the link in the description below. But that is pretty much going to wrap us up here for our AEW Unrivaled Sammy Guevara TNT Champion Ringside Exclusive Figure Review. Leave me a like on the video if you guys would. I'd greatly appreciate it. Leave me your thoughts on this figure down below. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at my damn toys. I will see you guys in the next video. Have a blessed one. I'll catch you later. Have a blessed one, and I'll see you next time.